guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I just wanted to do a little book haul for you guys. So these are some books that I've either purchased or like acquired in the past little bit. And this is like from the last bit because I haven't been buying that many books recently at all. First up here, I have Flower Crowns and Fearsome Things by Amanda Lovelace. This is one of her newest poetry collections that just came out in October. I was so happy to receive this. Like I almost wanted to cry because <laughs> I love her work so much and I've read everything she's put out at this point. So I was very, very excited to get this in the mail. Uh, though I did like it, it wasn't like my favorite, but like the cover is gorgeous. The art in this is beautiful. Half the pages are poems and then the other half are like these beautiful illustrations. I also always respect that Amanda Lovelace puts trigger warnings at the beginning of her books. Uh, so you know what it's dealing with. Like this one is intimate partner violence, uh, sexual assault, cheating, child abuse, trauma, death, violence, misogyny, body image, eating disorders, alcohol, and more. So it covers a lot of different things, but I really do like her poetry. This one was not my favorite, but her some of her other poetry series are really, really good too. So definitely take a look at them and see which one interests you the most. But that was sent to me kindly by Andrews McNeil Publishing. Thank you so much, I was so happy. And I, from them, I also got the Apricot Memories. I don't know if I've talked about this, so I'm just including it anyways. All I know is that, I think I've talked about this, but all I know is <laughs> the pages are pink and they're just, it's a bunch of poems and the, I don't know, they sent this to me unsolicited, but it, the pages are pink and there's like red text and it's pretty cute. Um, okay, I found the little news thing that they put in books for when you get them sent, but this one says, for one soul's season of adventure unraveling, this romantic fusion of poetry and prose explores themes of spirituality, love, personal growth, creativity, vulnerability, and motherhood. So that's what this one's about. I started it, but I haven't finished it yet. Um, I honestly forgot that I started it, so I might go back to it. Well, I definitely will at some point, but I was really happy I got this scent as well. So thank you again to Andrews McNeil. And then two things from HarperCollins. Uh, this was for a frenzy event, not the last one, but the one before it. Um, I got XOXO and I also got Meet Cute Diary. This is by Emily Lee and this is by Axio. I think is how you pronounce it. So this book is written by a Korean author and it's, and it's about this girl who is a, is a cello prodigy. So she's very talented with music and she meets this boy who's very into K-pop or like performs K-pop or something. And they have this forbidden romance, I guess. So it sounds really cute. Uh, they sent you like two, two or three arcs that random ones that they talked about. So you didn't really get to pick, uh, but I was very thankful to get sent these. And this one sounds really cool. It seems really cute. So I think a lot of people will be interested if you like romance, if you're looking for Korean um, YA fiction, if you're looking for K-pop, you'll probably like this one. So this meet cute diary, I believe is just a bunch of meet cutes. Uh, so people meeting for the first time and their cute interactions as couples and stuff. So on the back, it says this is a romance that celebrates trans and non-binary teens, which is great. Uh, that's, that's why I was interested in this book but this just explores love relationships and social media. So this on the back, it says it's recommended for people who liked I Wish You All The Best by Mason Deaver. So yes, please, I loved that book. So I definitely wanna pick up this soon. It also just seems like a very chill, like simple kind of read. So next up here, I have Pan's Labyrinth. So I've wanted this book for a while. I originally wanted the hardcover because if you take the dust jacket off, it's beautiful. Beautiful book, if you taste it. <laughs> Clearly I can't, but if you take the dust jacket off the hardcover, it's an absolutely beautiful book. So so this book is the book version of the movie Pan's Labyrinth. And I watched that movie for school. I watched it in Spanish with the English subtitles and I really, really love the story, but this is a dark fantasy novel and it's very nicely like illustrated as well. There's a lot of beautiful illustrations in here. But I'm currently reading this one and I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, but yeah, it's very magical and also like kind of mysterious. So that's what we're going with at the moment. Uh, but I really am enjoying this one so far. Next up here, I have Billy Summers by Stephen King. I picked this one up recently. We are going to be doing a buddy read of this starting on the 25th. So if you are interested in joining us, I would love for you to. We are doing it in my Discord server. So on my Twitter, I have like instructions. So I'll link that post down below and my Discord down below. Um, but if you have any questions, just message me or something. But if you guys would like to read this with me and some other people, I'm so excited. Uh, this is my first one in like 
my Discord server, but I feel like it's just gonna be, me, be much easier and we could still have spoilery discussions and block those parts off for certain people and it's gonna work out. It's gonna work out, we got this. But uh, all I know is this one, like I read the synopsis before, um, but what I'm kind of just going with is that it's about a hitman and then we're just gonna dive right into it and see what happens. But yeah, we're gonna be reading this for a month. If you read faster or slower, no worries. We're gonna have everything, like discuss it at your own pace, read it at your own pace. Like, I really don't care how fast you read. I might fall behind, I probably will. Um, but yeah, I'd love for you guys to join us. Next, I have two witchcraft books that I got from the sales section at Indigo. Uh, this one, witchcraft. I've seen this around a lot. And full price, this is like an expensive book, but um, it has a lot of stuff. It has magic spells and potions. So this is just, this is the book. Uh, power spells, um, witchcraft making a circle, kind of a lot of the basics of spell work. So that's what this one's about. And I also got this, which I'm also reading, and this is The Witch's Complete Guide to Self-Care. It was only $12, but it uh, is super cute and beautiful, and I'm so happy I picked it up. But this is like one of the pages. This one's like the astrology, I think, chapter. But it's beautiful and it's all colored and it's it's beautiful. So uh, this just explores uh, self-care as a witch and some of the like the practices that you can do and some spirituality things. So this one's really good so far. I'm enjoying it. Last but not least, I have three YA books to talk about. So let's talk about this one first. So this one I got because only because it was in the sales section. I'll leave the last two to the end, but. The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. This came out like a year or two ago. I remember hearing people talk about it. I heard like mediocre reviews, but this is a Frankenstein retelling, but with a female Frankenstein, I believe. A receipt flew out of that. Victory of her escape from misery. Elizabeth does everything she can to, but to make herself indispensable and it works. She's taken in by the Frankenstein family and rewarded with a small bed. Soon her and Victor will be inseparable, but her new life comes at a price. That's what this is about. Um, I'm really excited. Frankenstein, um, I absolutely love the original Frankenstein so much. So this seems like a very fun retelling. It's a YA one, so we'll see. An Emotion of Great Delight by Tahara Mafi. I'm so excited to read this. This explores the aftermath of 9-11 and how Muslim families were treated and how like a young Muslim girl is treated at school after 9-11 and stuff like that. So this, this is gonna explore so many tough and important issues. So I'm really looking forward to it. And all her work is so like written so lyrically and it's so well written and beautiful. So I highly recommend checking this out. Uh, I hope to read it soon. I've been kind of saving it. I don't know for what, but I'm gonna save it for something. Last but not least, I almost died when I saw this in the bookstore because I did not know this was happening. I knew they announced the sequel. However, I didn't hear anything else about it. So I was like, I don't know. And then I saw it in the bookstore, so I couldn't leave without it. And it's Aristotle and Dante Dive Into the Waters of the World by Benjamin O'Leary Science. This is the sequel to Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, which is an amazing book. So well written. I love this author's writing. Such like a good bond between the characters and absolutely worth the read. I highly recommend it's a YA contemporary. Totally check it out if you like hype, like heartfelt stories. I can't believe the first one was released in 2012 and this one came out in 2021. Like this is a big deal. I'm so excited. So um, I mostly want to make this book called to talk about this, <laughs> but I'm really excited. I don't really know too much about what book two is obviously a continuation from book one. So we'll see. I'm really excited to see what they're gonna be up to in this book. So there you guys have it. Those were all the books that I wanted to talk about today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you're new, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, all my links, including like my Twitch, my Discord and Instagram and all that will be down below. Again, thank you to HarperCollins and Andrew McNeil Publishing for sending me some of these books. I hope you guys liked the video and maybe discovered some new books that you would like to check out or I don't know, just enjoyed watching me nerd out for a bit, I guess. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you super soon.